guess with most sports, there's a bigger mental portion than there is a physical portion. In rowing, it's really about finding your, your limits, like how far you can push yourself and always challenging yourself to go further, dig deeper into that hole. It's 90% mental. All right, guys, let's pick it up right here. We need to pick it up. Let's go. Five and six. Let's go. Push it on that front end. We need to move right here. Give me those seats. Something like that. In the boat, personality is a lot different than out of the boat. In the boat, you have to be much more serious and much more direct in the things that you say so that guys can uh, understand and will respond better to calls that you're making. We've produced an Olympian the last three Olympics now out of all of the athletes that have come through our doors as a testament to the competitiveness of some of the guys that we get. That has led to our national championship successes, obviously. The truck is kind of a team member. We carry a load generally of around 5,000 pounds, which isn't a whole lot for a vehicle like this to tow, but uh, our bigger challenge with carrying a load like this is wind. When we encounter wind, the truck has to be able to handle, you know, the swaying motion that wind can bring to a, a trailer like that. We'll take that load to San Diego. We've done San Diego back and forth numerous times, and that's uh, two and a half days of driving, two, you know, three days of driving sometimes. All vehicles kind of take on their own personality. Driving a load of, you know, that's a $250,000 and could essentially end your season if things go wrong. It can be dangerous. Both of these vehicles that I've had from Ford have always performed when asked. One, two, three, go!